the Don River Dash racetrack. It's uh, located just on the edge of Bowen. Uh, Bowen's a nice little coastal town in North Queensland. It's actually part of the Whitsunday region, so you can imagine the coastline pretty spectacular along there and nice waters and uh, good spots to swim. It's definitely one of my favorite spots in Australia, so if you haven't been there, I highly recommend it. Yeah, second year back at Don River Dash, looking forward to it. Um, it's a tough race, I remember that from last year. Oh, I've had a good few months since Fink, but I haven't been doing any racing or anything like that. So we'll we'll go out there. The bike feels great so far, the 500 XC. Um, yeah, bike's definitely amazing and a little bit better than last year. And uh, we'll go out there and see if the lungs can cope or not. Yeah, we've got the four customers this year with the VIP race experience. And um, so far, that's been great. Uh, all the guys are been keeping two wheels on the ground, having a lot of fun out there and it's been nice working with them and I uh, had some Steve, it's his very first race so that's a cool thing to be part of as it is and uh, through to Brett who was my ghost rider at the 98 six day so yeah we've got a fair mix of guys and looking forward to them uh, getting out there and, and seeing what it's all about and, and seeing their, their sore hands and tired faces at the end of the day is going to be a memorable experience that's for sure. They're racing like basically in the heart of Bowen is it's amazing. Uh, it's hard to explain to people back home. Um, I probably don't want to explain to many people because it feels wrong racing in, in a river that's so close to the beautiful blue waters. But hey, we'll make the most of it while it's here and, and enjoy it. is is having Grabo here and we went out on Thursday and did a lap and he tweaked it and improved it. I did another lap and I said, oh, I was doing this, doing that. I don't know what he did. He said, just leave it to me and tell me if it's better, which was good. So, um, and just improved our sight. I'm really, when I started on the bike, I was nervous. And by the time we'd finished, done three laps on the Thursday, I was confident I was crossing lines and yeah, he's, 
Grabo's a bit of a master at setting bikes up, so yeah, he's no mug there. So to be able to spend time with the likes of, of Grabo and yourself, and obviously the other caliber of a riders that you guys attract as well, um, it's 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 really good. It's made it. Um, I've learned lots. I really have learned lots. The, the experience is, it, like I said it once before, and I'll probably say it till the cows come home. It just makes sense. It really does to have the the, the calibre of coaches and you guys. What you put together, you know, you pull into the pits and there's six hands with different things, and you just pick what you want. The fuel's in the bike. The bike's ready to go before you're before I'm ready to go. Um, it's just absolute next level. It really is a, like a VIP experience. Support, 100%. Experience, 100%. Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, unreal. Really good setup. Yep. Well worth the money, yeah. It was uh, definitely a tough race, a um, bit dry conditions than last year so it was a little bit slipperier but no I just had a steady weekend, I enjoyed it, I uh, didn't set no records but had a lot of fun out there, bike was um, nice and strong, probably too strong for me but had a ball. Now we've had a big week with the VOP rental guys this week and doing the coaching and kept me nice and busy and having a good time but um, yeah looking forward to uh, coming back here again next year. 